All right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Don Evans here from LodgeReport.com, and we have Spinnaker Hull Diver. It's been quite a while since I've done a Spinnaker review, probably, I think, over a year, checking the archives here. And uh, there's a reason for that. Um, they come out with a lot of models that are very similar, in my opinion. And uh, I've found over the years, out of the many reviews that I've done for this brand, that uh, quality can be hit or miss. Uh, that either comes down to just how fast production is done or quality control or whatever. Uh, if you're not familiar with Spinnaker watches, they are part of the Dartmouth Group, which is part of, uh, what is it, Solar Time Limited, uh, AV8, uh, Thomas Earnshaw, a bunch of other brands. Not really what you would consider a micro brand, at least not what I consider a micro brand. They're a pretty big brand. All these watches are made in the same factory. So Spinnaker Hull Diver, we, uh, I want to say did one a few years ago, the original Spinnaker Hull. There's a couple of variations of the hull. This is now a diver version. Obviously, it adds water resistance, so they say, and you have uh, the dive bezel, cushion case shape. You're looking at $375, 42 millimeter diameter. I got the specs page coming at you. This probably isn't going to be a very long review, but let me, let's uh, find out what I think of the Spinnaker Hull Diver. Okay, before we get into this review, if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're not familiar, if this is your first time here, this is real watch reviews, unlike the influencer channels and everything else out there. And, uh, you know, I look at some of it, don't look at a lot of it. What I try and concentrate on here is the watch, not myself. It's about the review. It's my opinion but it's real. It's real and it's honest. You may not agree with my opinion, but I am always going to give you a real review. Sometimes I love it. Sometimes I hate it. Sometimes it's in the middle. That's what a review is, but you're definitely not going to be a sol uh, sold a watch while watching a watch report review. Did I get that all out? Did I say that spiel right? Well, if you like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Uh, always appreciated. Welcome here. If you want to see what we got coming in for a review before we review it here on the channel, you can go ahead and follow us on Instagram. It is at Watch Report. So getting into this hull diver, 42 millimeter case, NH35 movement, as you saw on the screen there, domed sapphire crystal. Uh, taking a close look at this, I believe this is an aluminum bezel insert. It is a brushed or matte finished aluminum bezel. Says nothing about ceramic. It does have a nice look though. Claiming of 300 meters of water resistance. So let me get this right out of the way. Uh, I would not trust this for 300 meters of water resistance. I would not really trust this as a dive watch either. Well, why do you say that? Other reviews think this watch is the greatest thing since ice cream and sliced bread and uh, Netflix and everything else. Well, because I don't. Uh, experience has taught me over the years I've seen crowns fall off these. I've seen bad quality control. I've seen bad customer service. Uh, well, then why are you reviewing it? You don't really seem to like it. Well, I've had a long-standing relationship with them, and the simple fact is a lot of people are still buying these watches. So if you're one of those people that are still interested in buying a Spinnaker watch and you come across a review like this, hey, hopefully it can sway you one way or another. Again, I'm not trying to sell you on this. I'm trying to give you my real opinion. Take it for what it's worth. So uh, you got uh, cushion case shape here. You got polish. You got brushed. I like it. A little too much high polish on the sides for me, especially with uh, that bezel. But that bezel, I will say, has a really nice thickness to it, really nice grip. You're able to grasp onto it. It's not one of those thin bezels that's stuck down to the case that you can barely grasp. You do have a screw down crown, of course. Leather strap is actually pretty nice. Now, I got two models here, obviously, a green and a blacked out. There are other variations. You take a look at the Spinnaker website. I'll have the link down below. And uh, there's two-tone versions as well, and they kind of did those nicely. It's not, you know, like a, it's not over the top with the two-tone. I kind of like the way they did it. You could check it out on the website. 
Everything else is pretty standard here. One thing I noticed that I kind of like is there's no quick change pins and straps. That is something I like, standard pins and the straps. Quick change pins, I know that's all the new rage. Everybody loves the quick change pins and the straps, but the problem is once you break those straps, a lot of those pins are very cheaply, uh, cheaply made. They break very easily. Yes, you can get replacements, but you could tear the leather when they break or whatever. My opinion is if you get a watch that has quick change uh, pins in it, get them out of there immediately. Go ahead and put a standard uh, spring bar in there. You'll be a lot better off, at least in my opinion. I think everybody should know how to use a little screwdriver or a little spring bar tool to take out a screw, uh, to, or excuse me, a little spring bar tool to take out a pin. I'll get it right eventually. I'll, I'll, I'll say it right eventually here. Don't worry about it. We're not going to cut that out either. Leave it in there. But uh, it is a nice looking watch. You have your basic dive looking dial here. Nothing grand, nothing over the top, but it is nicely functional. Uh, I would say my only issue with these, and it's funny because I'm talking about quality control. So I have two examples in front of me here. And on the black dial, you're gonna see up on the video here that the bezel has a lot more play in it than the green bezel. The green bezel, pretty tight. Black bezel, it is, um, it's kind of loose. It's, you, you'll see it there on video. Uh, you can make your own mind up from what you see. So just even two watches that were sent for review, I'm finding differences. I personally think, and this is what I like to say, I'm pretty sure I said it in my last Spinnaker review, $375. Uh, you know, you're in that competition. There's that $400 range competition is huge these days in this space, whether micro brandish or not micro brandish. But uh, big competition here. You're going to always find discounts for Spinnaker. Now, they didn't give me one, but you could regularly find like 30% off discounts. Uh, search for one, find it, get this down in price. Uh, I think you'll be a lot better off. Um, you know, the brand probably doesn't like me talking like this, but uh, I don't think they're horrible watches. Just you want to check it as soon as you get one. Make sure everything works. Make sure everything functions. Uh, another problem is they make so many models and they, they, they make so many models and they just keep moving forward and moving forward that if you have a watch that's a year or two old, you're probably going to be out of luck if you're going to end up needing parts for it. They don't really seem to carry parts for it. Uh, a friend of mine had one. It broke. He just wanted to get a replacement uh, link or bracelet for it. They didn't have any. Uh, so it, it is what it is. Just know that going in when you're looking at buying one of these watches and what you're getting. Uh, I think this wears nice on the wrist. 42 millimeter cushion case shape is nice, at least in my opinion. The loom looks pretty good. Uh, no issues under the dial. Really didn't find any lint or any other problems here with this. Uh, the leather straps, as I said, are very nice. And I think these, honestly, probably some of the nicer examples of Spinnaker watches that I've seen in the past. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Do you have this watch? Do you own a bunch of Spinnaker watches? Am I completely off? Are these the greatest things ever and uh, I'm off on these? Or is it just a factory brand that is producing an alarmingly fast rate of watches? Uh, but, uh, you know, they do, for the most part, pretty good looks, pretty good models. Just know what you're getting and make sure you pay the lowest price possible. Thanks for watching. Talk to you on the next one.